on today's episode of what's going on in Shayna's comment section. I love this comment and I think we must discuss because I have some thoughts. So for the people that are new here, hi, my name is Shayna. I'm a journalist. I talk about child-free living, decentering men, all that good stuff. So if it sounds like a vibe, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And then typically type your thoughts away in the comments. Now, let's dive into this. So, um, Lisa Soul Level Healing says, also, hey, I've been seeing you a couple times in the comment section and I really appreciate all of your like input. It takes me a while to like respond to people, but I really appreciate it. Anyway, diving in. Um, dating and mating is something I focus on same I the so focus on the same way I look for a job. <laughs> Intention and strategy. But yeah, all of us made our move. Child free, celibate, withdrawing, withdraw from dating, dating overseas. I enjoy this personally. I also find it interesting. I have thoughts on this though. Um, etc. We all decided already. This 4B is what most are doing already. So let's break this down because I have levels of thoughts. So um, dating and mating is something I focus on the same way I look for a job, intention and strategy. Now, I go about this a little bit differently. I think that dating, if you're just dating for fun, then emphasis on the fun. Mating long-term partnership needs to be looked at as a job. There needs to be strategy, you, there needs to be key points, there needs to be hard boundaries, there needs to be hard yeses and hard noes. You need to have a list of non-negotiables. Like you really got to be going into long-term partnership, which is also mating, which is also have bearing forth children if that's something that people are still doing. I mean, I know people who are and it's wild, but like if that's something that you want to do, then you really got to be looking at your partner as as a not just a co-worker but like as somebody that you want would you start a business with this person would you not just like oh like we invest into each other no 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 no. would you invest heavy money in this person thoughts but let's start with the let's start with the dating side because i think that a lot of people especially women especially women that were raised in the church listen i I am recovering too and it's hard and it's unfortunate but there's a lot of us out there especially black women so a lot of us are not taught to date we are taught how to be wives we are taught how to be mothers we are taught how to raise children we are taught how to be a proverbs 31 woman you know but we're like seven years old um we're taught those kind we're taught about long-term relationships like marriage as though we're already in that marriage but also you know we're all married to Jesus yeah okay okay but when it comes to dating there's not a lot of fun that we're taught there's not there's not a lot of enjoy yourself there's not a lot of if it's no longer fun then leave and if you are dating like I am in the space right now in my life where I'm dating for fun I'm dating for fun I the, I, the idea of marriage sounds less appealing over time, but like, I like who I am when I'm in healthy relationship with a man, which is wild to say out loud, wild to say out loud, but I do, but I do. Um, It doesn't happen often, but when it comes around, I enjoy it. I am a delicate little princess and I enjoy being treated as such, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, um, but the dating needs to be fun. If you are not enjoying yourself, if you find yourself stressing, if you find yourself like making big compromises while you're dating, like what are you not married? That's not your man, your man, your man. That's just Greg. What are you doing? Go have fun somewhere is my, <laughs> is how I handle things. Because I recognize that I have been hardwired to see men as potential husbands. And it has been a long journey of unlearning to not click into that immediately because I don't know how long this person's going to be in my life. Can he fix a car? Is he giving me money? Like, is he making my life better or am I making compromises in between our fourth and fifth date? Like, ew, ew. So that's that's my big distinction. The dating needs to be fun. Anything long-term, make your list. 
make it ironclad and do not negotiate with yourself. The way that sometimes women negotiate with themselves, there's not even an outside ooga in sight, but they're like, you know what? Maybe I'm asking for too much. Maybe because I've been single for a little bit, maybe I need to like open up this list a little bit. Okay, so like if he cheats once, then we're gonna have a talk. But if he cheats again, then it's a ladies. Oh, ladies. Sorry, sorry. I need to calm down. I need to calm down. I'm getting upset about a woman that I don't even know. Okay. So that's what I, that's, that's my little addition to this conversation. But okay, so we're moving on. Yeah, all of us made our move. Child free, celibate, withdraw from dating, dating overseas. I enjoy this, etc. Now, as somebody that has lived abroad for, and is planning, and is in the process of moving abroad, permanently this year um i dating overseas is wild it's fun they dress beautifully they they do the the conversation tends to be a little bit more riveting um and i know that it's wild to say but i have not had a bad experience dating in new york <laughs> i know i know it's weird it's insane when i like actually say it out loud but Ah, at the end of the day, like what I'm used to hearing is ooga booga when I get overseas is ooga booga. You know, it's still this, it's still the same. Oh, but it's it's just dressed a little nicer. It's just dressed a little nicer. Um, and dating cultures abroad is something that I think <laughs> for the women that enjoy dating abroad, you know what I'm talking about when I say international dating culture is wild from like country to country. And if you're dating in like Europe or in smaller, even not even just Europe because all the countries are so close together, but even across major cities in the United States, dating culture varies massively. But anyway, um, I bring this up to say that a lot of women can get swept away in the romanticism of certain countries. It's why so many women have, like when they go to Europe, have fallen for a random Frenchman. And like, yeah, they're very sweet. They're very kind. They will pay for things. They treat you well, great conversationalists. But at the end of the day, they know, they know what it is. And it's not forever. They make it, they can create a forever um, like capsule in time, but within their culture, they know it's not forever. When you're coming from the outside where these kinds of things like, emotional openness and soft flowery language and touch and da -ba -da -ba -da in the United States, it's, uh, there's less of that. So if you're coming from like that and then hopping into this dating culture, it can throw a lot of women off. I bring this up to say, ladies, at the end of the day, an ooga's gone booga. You know this. You And now you can't say that you haven't been told. You know this. Um, You're welcome. You're welcome. So with the end of this of this rant of these continuous thoughts um we decided already this 4b is what most are doing already i am so intrigued about what is to come for the human race the human species because of this growing awareness of what the men are doing and us realizing that we do not have to participate if we don't want to. Um, there, and I will make a video about this because Korea is in an interesting place right now. It's very, it, when it comes to the next generation of Koreans, it's very, very interesting. Um, but yeah, I am curious to see if men are gonna do better. <laughs> I don't know if they will. I genuinely don't know if they will. Maybe in like two generations or so. But yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to seeing more women make their dating strategies. Not dating, their mating and like long-term relationship strategies. Um, if you want to like workshop some of those strategies, share some of your non-negotiables for long-term relationships. Does not have to be like with kids. Please share them in the comments. You could inspire somebody that didn't know that they needed to add that to their list. All right, that is all for today. Like, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. And I'll talk to you later. All right, bye.